Hey, what's up? This is John from My Seller Pal, and I want to help you set up one of the very first things you should set up when you're using the system here. Uh, My Seller Pal has a bunch of features that are external facing, that you have landing pages and a brand website that other people come to, that you direct traffic to from outside of Amazon. Um, that's a storefront that you own, landing pages that you own, everything completely outside of Amazon. Um, then we have internal features that I'm not going to touch on in this particular video, you know, the pay-per-click optimization tools and other automation tools. Uh, so if you think about anything that's external facing, uh, the way that people are going to get to your external properties are through a URL. So you want that URL to, re to reflect your brand name. Now, what we give you is two possibilities for this. We give you a possibility to use a subdomain with your brand name. So that would be, you know, your brand name dot And then we also give you the ability to use a, a real domain name that you buy from GoDaddy or another registrar. Um, so this is going to show you both of those things here. Uh, the very first thing that you do, and this would be one of the first things you want to do, because if you, if you change it later, it will break a bunch of links on the Internet. So that's why this is one of the first things that you should do on My Seller Pal. So under Pages and Brand Website, you'll go here to Domain Name. And what we're doing here is we're, gonna, we're doing basically a fictitious yoga, yoga shop. So I named this yogasports.mysellerpal.com. So if I go in here and I type in yoga sports into here, uh, I'm going to type that into the URL bar here, yogasports.mysellerpal.com. I actually don't know if you can see that in the URL bar. I'll bring this down a little bit. So I just put in yogasports.mysellerpal.com, and that brought up um, my homepage, that my brand website that I set up on my seller pal. Now later on, you'll add some your own landing page products and everything like this. This your, your storefront here, your brand website, lists all of your, your landing pages that you choose to display. Um, on your storefront. So this is like the your default domain name here. Um, also, the the if I don't set a custom domain name, your landing pages will be so, something like yogasports.mysellerpal.com forward slash with whatever the name of your product is. So that's what the that's how you map out the domain names. Now what I what I prefer to do and what it makes a lot of sense for most sellers is that you want to map a a domain name. So this will completely replace, you know, if you have a Shopify or anything like that that you don't want to pay 30 bucks a month for any anymore. These this storefront feature gives you the ability to have your landing pages that come out to your landing pages and then you can link out to to Amazon from here and then have the shopping experience link out to Amazon. Most of the sellers that um, use this feature like that because they're selling mostly on Amazon, so this just makes a lot of sense. This gives you the ability to index your site in Google. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, over in GoDaddy. So in GoDaddy, I went and bought a sample domain name called yogashop.fit. Okay. So what we're going to do for yogashop.fit is add our www name to map to my seller pal, and that's done using what's called a C name record. Um, that's supported across all domain registrars, and a domain registrar is just where you bought your domain. So if you bought it from Namecheap or, you know, um, any number of domain sellers out there, they all have the same concept. C name record is what you're looking for. So you would take a C name record here and and map your www to your my seller pal subdomain name. So it'd be yogasports.mysellerpal.com. So I could actually select that out of here, okay, without the HTTP or anything like that, okay, and I'm going to pop that in here. See, I'm going to remove the HTTP because you don't want that HTTP in there, okay. So now that's mapping my www.yogashop.fit to yogasports.mysellerpal.com. So then if I come over to here... In my seller pal, I have to tell my seller pal that I've done that, basically. So, underneath here, there's two different options. There's one for your for your landing pages if you want to have a custom domain name for just your landing pages. So, if you want to do something like deals.yogashop.fit for your landing pages, and then a, a different domain for your storefront page, you could do that. But I'm gonna post. Um, I'm gonna put in here the same thing for both. So, let me go back over here and just copy yogashop.fit and say my custom domain name for my landing pages and my storefront 
our yoga shop dot fit. Okay, so now I'm going to click update, and then that, that's updated. So now if I go to www.yogashop.fit, this usually takes a little bit of time to propagate, especially if you had a different, if you're pointing to someplace else on the internet, but this should happen fairly quickly because um, I didn't have anything in there. So I'm going to go and, and by the way, if you were in a domain manager before in, in GoDaddy and you had a www record in there before, you're going to have to delete it and then re-add the a www record in there to point to my seller pal. So I'm going to go back over here to yogashop.fit and boom, now yogashop.fit points to my landing to my pages here. And then if I go here, um, you can see my landing pages also have that, that full domain name here. So now I can actually submit this URL to Google as well and have all of my content indexed in Google. So that's the very first thing you want to do when you set up my seller pal is to set up your your domain uh, mapping in here. And again, you don't have to use a custom domain name. I highly recommend it. And you can you could get away with just using yogasports.mysellerpal. That still works. Um, yogasports.mysellerpal.com. So that still works as well. You know, but it's better to have that that full domain that brand experience. Um, and that's it. So. Thank you very much, and I uh, hope you, if you have any questions, just hit us up in the, in the support section. All right, thank you.